Hey guys, from Most Animation here, and in today's video, we're going to be covering the second episode of the Prisma 3D tutorial series, which involves materials. So, first off, materials. When we try to access the material tab, all we have to do is touch any object of our choice, and a material tab will be open at the left of the screen, which will have options like colors, textures, reflections, and transparency. And to change the color of our object, all you have to do is touch the color option and we will have a list of colors to choose from. But if you want more accuracy in selecting your colors, we touch the arrow at the bottom left of the screen and we will have a more sophisticated color palette. The next option is the textures. This is fairly easy to use because all you have to do is click on the texture option, then the plus button to import the texture. Then you can use your gallery or file manager to select any texture image you have. As you can see, this new material has been added to our material list at the bottom left of the screen. And you can create a new one by using the plus button. And now you can shuffle between the two materials. And for this plain material, I'm going to import a tile texture. And then we can create a new material using the plus button, but this time we're going to make it just a plain color. And then we can select the other objects and assign them to the other materials. And one thing you should know is that if multiple objects are assigned to one material, you can easily change all their appearances at once. The next option under materials is the reflections. And no, it doesn't actually make objects reflective, but it changes how they act with lights. For more accurate reflection settings, we'll touch the arrow at the bottom left of the screen. But these settings will work differently when night mode is enabled. And the last option there is the transparency, which is really easy to use. And these materials are pretty much the same for every other object except for text. The difference being that we have two extra options, which are the text field and the font style. For instance, let's say whenever we move the box, we want the text to move along with it. To do this, we'll parent the text to the box. All we have to do is to drag the text into the box in the object hierarchy. 